there we go got it out so back to just double checking make sure everything was put together right i don't think i put the pan on with you know like a little dab of rtv in the corners so just double check that uh yeah just run over the bolts make sure we're good to go i think i'll go ahead and mark top dead center too since i got it out i was i try to give that a go um but i was just eyeballing stuff with a piston stop and i'm not sure what all has moved since we've gotten it smashed together so i'll probably just go ahead and uh re-verify that ta-da ta-da there she be so we me and me just pulled the valve covers off checked the torque on the rockers uh, went ahead and took the rocker loose over here on number one put a piston stop in re-verified our uh, top dead center timing uh, just so we can timing gun it to make sure that's good in the future uh, put a oil uh, this is just the f-body um, dipstick I ordered from probably Jegs or something it's just a GM part but it fit beautifully for the most part hopefully it'll fit well when we get the manifold in there but yeah it slid right in no problem got the uh, something else we did something else oh it took the pan off verified where the dipstick's at so we'll know about how much the, the how much oil would be in the pan and what we'll do is i will use my oil primer i made an oil primer there is a video uh, probably in my playlist or a really old video and it is how to make a uh, air compressed driven oil primer out of like a harbor freight little portable air thing pretty cool um, but we use that because that way I can put five quarts into it or however many quarts that this pan calls for uh, I'll, I'll look that up. I'll put that in there and we'll load it uh, We'll do it by weight So we'll know that we have that much in the engine and then we can pull out the, the dipstick and verify that that is our correct level and Also because I verified where it sits now. I'll kind of know in my mind This is where the oil setting in the pan which will just help me make sure that uh, all the turbo drains everything is good yeah I show my pile of stuff look at all that cool looking pile of stuff we got down pipes and exhaust stuff and manifolds and yeah and I'm just really happy about how easy it's going to be to get to the spark plugs it's amazing I'm so ecstatic about that so uh, I talked to Jacob today. He's gonna do all the wiring. He's waiting for a relay. He's gonna put that in there. He's concerned about my uh, setup only having one fan and we don't have a fan to put on the condenser. But I think with this, it was really just like the most expensive high powered fan I could get from uh, Jegs or Summit. I don't remember. And it's it's not the smallest. It's, it's just the most robust. So I think that we're gonna try to do uh, just run it so if the AC's on it runs and it should be fine uh, yeah it'll just run until it doesn't run and then we'll call the tow truck like every time it breaks not a big deal yeah and uh, the rest of the wiring needs to be done so we'll get the dash so my project my next project is to do the dash to take the dash apart set it up for the digital dash and that'll be kind of it'll be like arts and crafts up in here so excited about that Hang on, folks, it's coming up next on Monkey Fab Garage. If you can't do it yourself, get someone else to do it. So Jacob's working on, uh, what are you working on, Jacob? Talk to us. Uh, what do you got there? This is the... Uh, you got wire? The unicorn. Wow, there's like different colors, wires? I usually just go with red and black. <laughs> I, that's kind of, that's kind of my... Uh, my motif is just a red and black because that way you either know it's ground or you know it's positive, right? I have noticed that. It's perfect. It you works well, right? You had a lot of a lot of red and black. No, we're just trying to uh, make everything uniform, same color, um, one wire as long as possible rather than a couple of extra wires. In that between sounds there. crazy. Sounds like crazy talk to me. Yeah, it all worked before. Nah. So if it, it doesn't work when it I did get work, done, yeah, that's right. So be, uh, 
So he is making a good point there. No, it was, as ugly as it was, it, it did run. Not well, but it did run. So, yeah. And then I got the uh, I got the dash stuff out doing the digital. Look at this fancy stuff. Look at all these little, I'm gonna drop all these little rubber garments. The rubber ceiling dillies everywhere. Ooh, ooh, what is that, Mike? It looks so fancy. So we got our little digital dash guy. This car's gonna be off the chain. Air conditioning, digital dashes. How easy, how easy to do stuff in this in the future will it be for this car? And I didn't know if I showed you the battery. Jacob also got the battery box in there and it ran with some wiring stuff as well. Engine went through last night, so it's ready to go back in. We're just gonna let Jacob kind of take care of whatever wiring stuff he wants to do wherever he wants to do it so that he has optimal space, all these rooms for activities. And then once that's done, we're just basically bolting stuff back in because we've already done all of our fabrication stuff. So, wow, not far. We gotta get Matt to dyno team this thing which means I got to get with Manuel to see if I can uh, borrow the dyno and how much that's going to cost me. We got a dyno at Jose's still. Oh, Jose's got a dyno still? Okay, maybe we'll use Jose's dyno. See, it's good to know people. Things are much easier when you know people. Chewing gum in the video. Being super obnoxious about it. Dashboard. This is the kind of tedious shit that I don't really enjoy. So we need to fit our digital dash, which is a nice little Holly 6.86 inch Pro. That, that .86 is important, boys and girls. Um, which will fit in this nice, brilliant piece of plastic that Holly was kind enough to sell me. Um, yeah, it's like 130 bucks, which might seem expensive for plastic, but Go try to make your own, right? Uh, if you had a fancy super duper printer, that might it might work. But you know, printers kind of get those weakness between where they're they're made it at. At least my 3D printer, mine's like a cheap Chinese deal. Shocking, huh? But this is actually a pretty robust piece of plastic. I mean, it's 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 got a little give to it. It's super thick. I, I would guess that it's probably I will say three sixteenths. What do you guys think? Can I guess it? Gotta take it off millimeters. It is three sixteenths. <clears throat> so nice thick stuff for 130 bucks, but what we have to do is we have to figure out how to make this fit in this. Another thing, come on, come on Holly, or classic design or whoever makes this, figure out a way to make this so you can take the, the unit out without having to take out the entire dash to get to the bolts behind it. But that's, that's silly. I might fix this myself because you should just be able to pull up it because you're going to have to add inputs and outputs and you might want to fiddle with it. There should be a way to take the dash in and out, but can't complain. It'd be hard for 130 bucks to come up with a better solution than what you got here. So what we're going to do is basically figure out what we needed to cover in here and then transfer it to here. Then we got to cut out the stuff in here and make this go into here. What I was thinking about since they don't make a way for you to get this easily in and out. They put the bolts behind it. Um, maybe I'm thinking about doing a few little spots along here. Uh, just drilled straight through and then maybe figure out a way to build a, maybe an aluminum frame behind this with the plasma cutter so that we can have capture nuts on the back of it. And if we have to take this out, we'll just take out like four or six bolts and pull the whole plate out since we can't get to the back of this. I think that'd be wise. Uh, but I'm not sure if the juice is worth the squeeze. I mean, once I get this thing running, why would I take it apart? Which is maybe what they thought when they put that thing together. I don't know. But that's where we're at. Lots of decisions to make. Uh, gonna listen to music. So you guys can't join in or else YouTube would uh, give me the old <laughs> So, uh, yeah, arts and craft time, boys and girls. I'll update you as we go.